First of all, I'd like to say thank you. Took me for my first ever trail run today. I think today was actually a brilliant example of why trail running is so unique. You can find achievement in an ascent, in a course, in a loop. You know, there's challenge in just the terrain itself. It's like, a, wow, I can't believe I just did that. How is what I'm going to learn on the trail going to help me as a city runner? I think it's going to help you in a lot of ways. Firstly, if it inspires you to run more, then that's helping. That's good. Then from a strength point, it's really going to help as well. Moving over the different terrain is good for proprioception. You know, your body becomes much more used to adapting quickly to things. Mm -hmm. So you get stronger muscles that are around the joints. Yep. So, you know, around the, the top of the knee and the bottom of the knee, the same with the ankles, mm -hmm. so the calf, the quads, the hamstrings. They're all going to get way stronger. Hills, the glutes, man. Yep. Oh, they're going to get strong. Okay. If the marathon has hills, you're going to yep. feel way more comfortable in that. Okay. Lung capacity, you know, you start hitting those inclines and declines. Yeah. You're gonna get stronger in the lungs and you're gonna get better at recovering. The beautiful thing about trail running is it's so open to interpretation. It can be a path through a park and it can be a single like sheet track up a mountainside. It's really important always to pay attention to the weather forecast. When you look at the weather, don't just look at the little symbol, look at the information and learn how to read that information. So, okay. you know, it might be five degrees Celsius, but if it's a 20 mile an hour wind, it's gonna feel way below zero. If you're going trail running, you need a pair of trainers. If the trails are dry, yep. you can run in the shoes that you were running on the road. When the trails start to become wetter, then you need some shoes that are gonna perform a little bit better in the mud. Okay. And something with an aggressive tread on it, that gives you stability, it gives you the ability to propel yourself, and it also gives you the ability to slow down. The clothing's important. That's where we were looking at layers. So, as always with any high intensity activity, something that can wick moisture away from the body, and then a wind yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just a case of basically being like, oh, I'm gonna go and run outside in the trail and going out, I've got to do a bit of prep. A little bit, but at the same time, I don't want to put people off. Like, you can go and trail run now, yeah. but to, if you're going to go away from civilization, as it were, yeah. then you need to be self-sufficient. Is there any techniques that you can pass on? Yeah. For me, one of the best things about trail running is moving downhill. I love going downhill. So the technique we tried was to stand at the top of the slope and just lean forward and kind yeah. of wait until your body yeah. takes you and then let it flow. Then you need to keep your knees bent as okay. much as possible. Okay. Land on your toes. Yep. And you can move down some pretty impressive terrain. But I find that when people run in the city, it's very kind of much tunnel vision. Yeah. Every day, running the same way. And so I kind of feel like flirting with trail opens yourself up. I definitely feel inspired by what I saw. Yeah, the I mean, sun off the water, yeah. the colours were so intense. And you can have a different experience every time. It's ever-changing. Always.